our people welcome back to another video i got some essential tips to show you guys so this helps you with your performance your battery consumption and helps you in the day-to-day -day uses this is a win windows based uh essential tips this could go for the rogue ally or any other gaming system that you have in your position right so as i said before this could boost your performance in some way and help your battery life it's turning off certain stuff and making your system more efficient while you're using it so let me get into it real quick and i'll show you all right so the first thing i want you guys to do is to create a restore point so for this restore point is just in case if there's any issue and you want to go back to that previous point where you haven't touched anything in your device and it will just bring everything back to how it was before you start messing with your device right all right so let me show you that real quick you just go to search type restore you'll see create restore point you should see this menu right here once you get here you just hit create put a date you can put whatever name you want I usually put dates, so I put today's date, which is then you hit create. It's gonna do its thing real quick. And this is always the first step I show you guys before I do anything on my device. So this is just in case if you mess with anything and you're trying to go back to that point, so you don't have to do a full restore reset on your device, right? So once you do that, if you want to restore back to that point, you just gotta come same menu and you go to system restore. When you get here, you just hit next. Then you could choose that the name or whatever you name it as. You will click that. Then you hit next, and then you just go to the process finish, and then you just restore it back your device to where it was before you start messing with your device. So you want to make sure you do that the first time before you start doing anything else. Next thing I want you guys to do, you go to search and you type in task schedule. Once you open up that, and here on the left side you will see task schedule library. You want to open that menu. Then you want to see then you're going to see microsoft open that as well then you go to windows open that so now just scroll over a little bit so guys can see what's going on and you're looking for a windows defender guys so scroll down to the star cnw here open up windows defender so now these are here you want to click on each one and you go to condition so when you get here you want to hit start the task only if the window is idle for 10 minutes wait for idle for an hour so with this guys you don't need windows defender to be running in the background while you're playing your games and stuff like that so once you set this up it will only run it at a specific time when your device is in idle so windows defender it helps protect your device but if you're just playing video games guys it's not going to be really an issue now if you're going on different type of websites you might want to leave this on and all the time but this right here it hinders your performance because it's running in the background and it's taking up resources so you want to hit start task and then hit okay for each one of them go down the line condition again okay right here one more time condition start okay one more time condition start okay so yes yeah, so as i said before this helps you with your performance and turn off the windows defender in the background while you're playing your game and it will should boost your performance a little bit everything i'm showing you guys in this video it all adds up together and you will see the difference in your fps and your battery life as well all right so one more thing you could do since we are here already you could just scroll up on the left side and you're looking for application experience application experience right here open that up so in here again everything right here is always running the background guys but most everything right here you don't need them to be running as i said before so one or two of them i think you can't disable so once you go through the list it will tell you which one you can't disable right so you just click on it go to the right side hit disable and it's saying disable right here let me bring this over a little bit so you can see right there that disable that disable think this one you can't disable it yep can't disable that so you gotta leave that and then disable as i said before all these right here they're running in the background you don't need them to be running and as I, as you guys may know if you got stuff running in the background while you're playing a game it's taking up resources and also which is taking up your ram and hindering your performance and as i said before everything right here adds up guys so once you start disabling stuff you're not really using it gives you more resources towards your game or whatever you're doing in your system and if you do anything on here that you want to revert as i said you can go back to restore point how you can restore it and but it will restore every all your settings back to how it was before so if you try and remember certain stuff just to disable or just to revert back a specific thing that you did you can just come back in here guys and you could 
enable it right back in here if you think that's what's causing the problem or anything like that but there shouldn't be any problem as i said before did this on my legion go i also did it on my asus rogue ally my regular asus rogue ally z1 extreme and it's working wonderfully as well all right so once that's done you can close this then you go back to search again type services open up that so the two things in here that you could disable if you want and you're looking for connected experience and telemetry so scroll down should be in alphabetical order let's look for c which is right here so connected user experience and telemetry open that up so when you get in here you see the startup type right here you click there you hit disable service status you could stop let it run a stop process and then you hit apply changes and that's it Let's go back in make sure it's disabled all right it's disabled next thing you want to do you could scroll down you're looking for system main system main right here so what system main does is try to preload application in the memory and it try to load the application faster because it preloads it once it boot up the system right so mostly you frequently use applications but you don't really need this if you're just a video game type of person because then the percentage is taken up in your ram is about 10 to 15 percent depending on what you use and how frequently you use the application and how big is the application so you don't really need this but it's up to you if you want to disable it or not but as i said you could enable it's enable disable at your discretion right and if you don't like what's going on at the end of the day you could just change this back or you could restore back your device to that previous point as i showed you earlier and when you, i was creating a restore point right so we'll go here same thing as before hit disable okay stop then you hit apply then you can just go back in there just to make sure everything's good and yes so you should be getting back some percentage but as i said your frequently used application won't be preloaded anymore all right so next thing i want you guys to do is close it out this out first you're going to disable some notifications so once you go here you go to settings open that up you go to system when you come here go to notification then click this arrow right here bring down this menu right here you can just turn all these off guys because this is all the notification that's been popping up in your device so allow sounds allow notification to play sound i mean you don't need all that stuff and then lock screen and then reminder then you want to scroll down you're going to see additional settings open that up and disable these as well so these are all those small notifications that pops up right here whenever you're doing something like randomly just popping up in front of your face so you don't need those to be on guys you could also do a full turn off notification right here but it's up to you these are already disabled already so you won't be seeing those stuff then you could go to gaming right here on the right side game bar is a controversial thing you could turn it off and on if you want if you use game bar if you don't but this is always running on your system as well so you could disable it as well but you could leave it on if you're using it you know what i'm saying it's up to you so yeah so it's up to you so i leave it on sometimes depending on what i'm doing you could pop up a game bar if you want and then you should be good go back again and then you go to capture and here record what happens this you could leave this off this is always running the background guys this basically record pre like pre games like when you're playing a game it record like in the past and then it saves it somewhere and then you could have access to it right if the system is always trying to record stuff in the background you know resources is going towards that so that's the next thing you could turn it off if you want go back one more time again then you got game mode in here so with game mode it basically limits the resources that's running in the background so it's a good thing in some way but for some games it do affect some games and it makes them it hinders the performance for some games right so it all depends on what game you're playing so that's what i'm seeing online that's the controversy that's going around with game mode so i'll leave it on for now haven't seen any big issue with it so far so you can leave it on up to you but as i said before it try to it slims down all the processing that's going on in the background so that's the benefit of it right but for some games it might affect it in a negative way so yeah so leave it on for now but as i said guys it's up to you so you can play around with it and then you can see what's going on with that all right so the next thing is you go to task manager there then you go to this little icon right here that shows you all your startup apps so in here 
you go in you could disable what apps you don't need to be running in the background like phone link you could disable that oh it's already disabled already so i, I did this already in some in a previous video so go in here you could disable whatever apps you don't need to be running in the background guys that should help you out the next settings one more time in here you go to applications i already showed you guys this as well you go to install apps and then you could go in here and delete all the bloatware i did this already as well so any application that came with the system that you're not using like all those smaller games those windows game that comes with it like fax and stuff like that phone link whatever you're not using you could uninstall it and everything that you uninstall guys you could reinstall back from the microsoft store as i are as i said before you could just go back to the restore point and restore your device back to the previously point that it was at right all right so the next thing i want you guys to do is disabling core isolation stop in core and it should pops up i think i already have it disabled already yep already got it disabled so core isolation right so basically protect your system from any type of virus or malware that could like mess up your system so in here you don't really need it unless you're going on any type of sketchy websites right so if you're using your device for any type anything else out on video games right let's say you're going in it anything you use if you're watching any type of x-rated type of video you want to make sure this is on guys you get what i'm saying you want to make sure this is on because you don't know what's on those websites so if you're just using it for regular stuff you could disable this guys as i said right here memory integrity is off your device may be vulnerable which is true but as i said it is up to you but if you google it look online you will see that this definitely mess with your performance in your device if it's on so up to you as i said before disable or enable at your discretion but mine is always off because I don't watch any type of x-ray stuff on my device or go on any type of sketchy website. All right, so you could close that out. Next thing, go back to settings real quick. When you get here, you go to system, then you go to storage. When you get here, you're going to see storage sense. You want to make sure this is on. So this is this, as I said right here, automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage local available cloud contents, right? So this automatically keep your, your system clean. Anything that you delete in, it goes right here in the basket. And this, after that period of time, it deletes everything out of your system, right? If you go in here, so if you go into temporary files, you can also manual do it as well. When you go in here, you could select anything that you want and then you just hit remove files from device. And then we'll just automatically delete everything. So cleaning your system is, the better your system will run, guys. So just make sure you have storage sense on and then it will automatically delete all your temporary files that's in here and keep your system running as clean as possible. All right, so next you go to privacy and security. Then you go to general in here. You could turn all these off. You don't need them. Show suggested content and settings app. You need that. Let windows improve start and search result. You need all this stuff, guys. You can just disable all that stuff because all that doing is just popping up in your screen and messing with, messing with your immersion and also hindering your performance you go back one more time and here you go down to speech and you could disable this as well so mine is already off so as i said right here if you turn off online speech recognition you won't be able to use apps that use microsoft online speech recognition technology so you don't need this you can turn it off as well go back one more time then you go to inking and type in so right here custom inking and type in so right here you could turn this off custom inking so basically this is just uh try to guess whatever you're about to try to type if you type in something it's going to try to guess the word so if you think you need it then you need this then you can leave it on it's up to you but you don't need this on as well because everything that i'm showing you guys it takes processing power right might not be a lot for each feature but everything adds up and once you start disabling all these stuff it will give you back some performance towards whatever you're doing go back to privacy one more time again scroll down you go to location and here everything that's selected you could do it one by one right so this is basically just a location for each application that you have right so it's trying to ping your location for each application you don't need it to be doing that all, all times and as you guys may know even from your cell phone or, or any other type of device if your device is constantly trying to find your location it's using battery and it's also using resources so you could disable it at a lump sum or you could do it one by one for whatever app you're using if you're a weather if you use the weather app you can leave this on up to you if that's how you're doing it it's up to you if if you use the weather app or any type of application if you use the camera i mean there is no camera device so 
this should be off automatically but any other device even if it's not gaming handheld and it's just regular pc it's up to you turn off the go back one more time guys and just scroll down you see a lot more um stuff that's down here you could go through them and you could disable them at your discretion right if you go to phones you could disable it for that if you want if you're not using your phone go back again scroll down the one you should not disable which is radio because this affects your bluetooth right so if you disable it it might affect your bluetooth and go through the list and mess with whatever other feature you see that you're not using your location for so yeah so that's basically it for for the windows overall optimization for your ally x and any of the windows device like the lenovo legion go or any device that you have even like your regular desktop pc or your laptop so that's basically it guys and if there are any questions guys drop a comment down below let me know what you think in the comment section down below hit that like button flag when i'm posting guide sub to channel for more awesome content guys and remember to always say guys health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in